Hey friends, let me share with you some Power Query tips and tricks here. So the first thing I want to share with you here is I want to be able to pull out these uh, transaction ID numbers here. And the other option that I want to do is I want to pull out these authorization codes right there. Okay, so that's a look at our data. And let me go to it and share with you how we can do that. My first step is I'm going to create a table, insert table, and I'll just name this uh, data. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to bring this into Power Query. We can do that by clicking on the data tab, and right here we have get and transform, get and transform uh, from a table. Okay, after we click that, we're going to be presented with Power Query. This is, if it's your first time in here, this is all a separate window. What we do here uh, basically um, will be to transform the data into like proper dates and numbers and text. And we also have the ability to add columns and so forth. And um, really, really cool stuff here, okay? So uh, what I'll begin to do here is to kind of see the, the underlying data set here, okay? And what I'd like to do is I'm on the bank memo. I'd like to parse that. So I want to pull out the authorization code. So I'm going to go over to add column, column from examples. So this is, this is just simply from all columns or from selection. We'll, we'll just do from selection. And um, I need to just start typing right here uh, the first number I, I see here, this 210 number here. So let me start typing 210-410-2535. Okay, I hit enter. And um, magically, <laughs> just pure magic here, how it pulls that out here. And it, it's falling suit down below everything as far as I see is matching up perfectly okay so um, basically I would hit OK then I need to double click that and just call it the authorization code to rename the column okay you can see that it's treated as text uh, which is totally fine in this scenario, but if we need to convert to something else, we could try that here. Okay, um, let's do one more. This this ID here, you can see we want to pull out the transactional ID. So I'm going to click columns from example. And then type 100. That did a great job there too as well. Hit OK. Awesome. So now I'm going to right click, rename that. There we go. Let me share with you kind of how the, this logic is working here. So if I go back to the authorization code, you can see that I, I did a um, it's called inserted text between delimiters. So I'm going to click this little gear icon here. Okay. And so basically what it did was, uh, you can't see here, but that's a space. The start delimiter is a space and the end delimiter is space. And it skipped five. So basically one, two, three, four, uh, five. I don't think there's a space in there. And, it, and so it's the fifth one right here. So you see how it's starting there. Number of start delimiters just skip. Okay. Let's look at the other one here. This guy right here, insert delimiter. Here, inserted text between, and it has a dash here, which we can see here, and delimiter. So that was just straight up a little bit how it's just text between delimiters 
did that. Awesome. Okay. Um, when we're done, all we got to do is go back to save and close. It will load the query. Okay. Notice that it's over here on the data tab, a brand new tab here based on the table name. This is connected to the query because we can see that. And over here on the side, we have the 21 rows loaded. So if we ever get new data in our sample data, let, let's imagine you come in and um, have another one here. Let me just type June 1st, 2022. I'm just going to copy this here, copy that. And I'll put just $1,000. Okay, so now we've got new data that came in here. What we would need to do is refresh the data set. So we can do that a number of ways. Um, right now I'm just going to get into it by clicking uh, refresh, right click refresh. And boom comes back to the data tab. So awesome, awesome stuff here. So that is a little tip and trick on how to use the text parsing in Power Query. Hope you enjoyed it.